Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Bhuti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pachayana Deve Sri Shakshini Mahadeva Pastor How will that stand? Oh, Krishna Krishna. He's stealing the butter. Does he come and take the butter from your fridge? Yes. Is it? You say. Tell in Tamil. You feed him directly. Yes. Every day. Every day he's eating butter here. So I may speak for. 40 minutes, okay. one hour, is it all right? No problem. No problem, everyone's happy. Santosham. Everybody's happy. Okay. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Om Chakshurin Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Shreshtam Manamapi Shatiputra Matra Swarupam Rupam Tasyagaja Murupurim Maturim Goshtam Team Radha Kundam Girivaramaho Radhika Madhava Sham Prapto Yasya Pratita Kripaya Shri Gurum Tamnato Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Atafada Kamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavangsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagarna Raghuna Tanvitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagarna Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. For the last six or seven years, on and off, I've been speaking on Sri Vishnu Sahasranama in various parts of this little place that we called the world, the earth, this little Prithivi. And the last few days, I've been speaking in this Sri Rangam. And I feel very happy to speak in Sri Rangam on Sri Vishnu Sahasranama because Sri Vishnu Sahasranama is central to the culture of the Vaishnavas here. And previously there must have been thousands of Brahmanas reciting Vishnu Sahasranama daily here. And especially this Sri Ranga Kshetra has very close relationship with Vishnu Sahasranama because the first Vaishnava commentator in this Kali Yuga on Sri Vishnu Sahasranama was Sri Parashara Bhatta, who was the astrologer of Sri Ranganatha Swami. He came just a little less than a thousand years ago. He was the son of Kuresh. So if anyone knows anything about the pastimes and activities of Sri Ramanuja Acharya, they must know the name of Kuresh, who sacrificed his eyes. He was ready to sacrifice his life <coughs> for Sri Ramanuja Acharya. So I'm very, 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 very happy <laughs> today to be speaking in the home of Sri Parashara Bhatta here in Sri Ranga, the, the very site of his house, where 30 generations later, his descendants, I, sitting, uh, I'm sitting at the feet of 
Sri Parasha Lakshmi Narasimha Bhatta and Sri Parasha Rangaraja Bhatta, two sons in the 30th generation after uh, Sri Para the original Parasha Bhatta. And they very kindly, very open-heartedly welcomed me to speak here. So for me, it's like a dream come true because every time I'm speaking on Vishnu Sahasranama, I'm always quoting Parashara Bhatta. <coughs> uh, so being very unqualified, but the mercy of the Vaishnavas makes the most impossible thing possible. Astrologer means up to the present day, every morning, they will go and uh, read the Panchang, what, uh, what is there for today, and give the date, not, a, not 4th of February 2009, not like that, won't give the date, they'll give in terms of the whole cosmic time. So today, uh, I'm to speak at least first on name 672, Brahmana, which is quite a coincidence as we're in the home of real Brahmanas. In Hyderabad in 1970, what was that? Must be 1974, I believe it was. It must be the, uh, in Hyderabad in Abid, Srila Prabhupada installed the Radha Madan Mohan deities. Jagannath Subhadra Baladev Gornitai, and he called the uh, Brahmanas from Bangalore, the, uh, I believe they were from Bangalore, the Sri Vaishnava Brahmanas, headed by Sampat Kumar Bhattacharya. Melkote. From Melkote, yeah? yeah. And Srila Prabhupada was very happy with them, they were very happy with him. And Srila Prabhupada, who was very critical of so-called Brahmanas, people who call themselves Brahmana by caste but don't follow anything. Mm -hmm. But he said these are real Brahmanas. So we're very happy to be in the homes of real Brahmanas. By, by caste, we can say, by family tradition, and by Lakshanam by their characteristics in all respects. So Vishnu is the original Brahmana. <laughs> the Shamo Damatha Pashocham Kshanti Raja Mevacha Gyanam Vigyanam Astikyam Brahma Karma Svabhavaja. All the God qualities. This whole Vishnu Sahasranam is describing the Sadguna, the great spiritual qualities of Sri Vishnu and the Brahmana in this world who has the qualities of peacefulness, self-control, austerity, cleanliness, shanti, tolerance, arjavam, straightforwardness, jnana, knowledge, and vijnana, realization, is representative of the Supreme Lord in having all these qualities. And the kshatriyas may also be said to do so. These t we find in Gita also that the <coughs> Striovaishas Tata Shudra, they are considered lower, and then Kinkuna Brahmana Punya Bhakta Rajashyas Tata. The Brahmanas and Kshatriyas, they're considered higher. Why is that? Because they are dedicated to Dharma. <coughs> they will uphold Dharma. They will give their life for Dharma. Whereas Striovaishas Tata Shudra, the more of a tendency to the Aham Mama Bhav, I, me, and mine. That tendency is there. And then, of course, Krishna says, Manghi Parta Vyapashritya, Yepi Supa. Even people who are from the lower background, they, are, they can come to Krishna. But especially Brahmanas and Kshatriyas, they are considered to be on a higher level. And <coughs> because of their commitment to truth and to dharma, and they nourish dharma, they protect dharma, and we find that Bhagawan, he comes again and again, either in Brahmana family or Kshatriya. 
we don't find any avatar as Vaisha or Shudra or Chandal, nothing, no such thing. Now, of course, he is a Prakrita. He is beyond the three modes. Kritavan Kila Karamani, Sahara Keshava, Atimartyani Bhagavan, Gurha Kapata Manusha. Srimad Bhagavatam describes Krishna and Balarama's Kapata Manusha. Do you know that? Means like a cheating man. <laughs> because, but it's not exact. Here it means that uh, he only appears to be human, but actually he is Ati Martya. He's beyond birth, death, old age, and disease. So he's not, he's not a Brahmana of this world. He's not a Kshatriya. He is in a category of his own, but he appears in these families for the sake of benefiting the world. Brahmanas and Kshatriyas, they benefit the world. Brahmana, here Sri Parashara Bhatta has given the meaning of Brahmana as the instructor of the Vedas. So Brahmanas have to do that. And the original instructor of the Vedas is Bhagavan Narayana. Tene Brahma Hridaya Adi Kaveye. We find in Srimad Bhagavatam. He instructed Brahma within the heart in the Vedic knowledge. And therefore Brahma, he's also known as Brahmana, because Vedas are also known as uh, <coughs> as Brahma. So Krishna, he's officially the son of Vasudev and Devaki, but he appeared to be like a Vaishya in the beginning as the son of Nanda and Yashoda. So there's little exception there for Krishna. When he's acting as Bhagavan, then he's Vasudeva. Vasudeva Nandana, the son of Vasudeva. But in his form as Krishna, he's simply enjoying himself. <clears throat> So yesterday I was speaking uh, about this Brahmavit who knows the Vedas. So a Brahmana must be Brahmavit, otherwise he's not considered a proper Brahmana. I was saying they, they should know one Veda. You must, you must be what the... Uh, which Veda in your family? You're Yajurvedi. What? You're in the. Shukla Yajurveda. Uh -huh. Mostly in the north, it's Shukla Yajurveda. In the south, mostly Krishna, Yajurveda. So you're followers of Yajurveda. You recite that the, the Shukla Yajurveda. There are two main recensions. <coughs> So Brahmana, he, if he doesn't know at least one Veda, then what's the meaning, actually? We don't know, but we know. What do we know? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. There's one saying quoted by this uh, Sri Madhvacharya. That Rig Veda, Stayajur Veda, Sama Veda, Piyataravanaha, Adhita Yena, Adhita Yena, Yena Uktam, Hari Rit Yakshara Dvayam. Who says Hari? Hari, Hari. Can you say Hari? Who says Hari Rit Yakshara Dvayam means already they studied Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, and Atarva Veda. We also find that, I was quoting that from Bhagavatam, the teachings of, it's actually Devahuti speaking to, Kap, to Kapila Dev, that Aho Bhattasvapachato Gariyan Yaj Jivagre Vartate Nama Tubyam Tepas Tapas Tejuhu Sasna Arya Brahmanucha Nama Grinanti Yete. Whoever has Nama Tubyam, your name on Yaj Jivagre, on the tip of the tongue, who's saying the name of Krishna, that means they did all tapasya, all, all austerities, 
and then going to all holy places, reciting all Vedas. But still, a Brahmana is supposed to know one Veda, actual Brahmana. That's a, that's a minimum condition. And his character should be very good also. Not that he's reciting the Veda and then going out and hitting people on the head and stealing their money. <laughs> but actually, good character and learning the Veda must go together because to, to sit in the Gurukul and be trained requires such a discipline and, the, 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 and purification of mind that someone who chants like this they're not going to engage in low activities. They, they, must, they must be of noble character. Must be. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> Krishna is Brahma. That's the name just given. means he's the ultimate reality. He's Brahmavit. <coughs> so according to the Shankara Matam, According to the idea of Shankara, one who Brahma vid Brahmaiva Bhavati. According to their idea, when you get Brahman realization, then you merge into the one, according to the Shankara idea. And Shankara, he is also given a commentary on Vishnu Sahasranama, in which he also says that Vish, he admits Vishnu is Brahma vid. So, according to his idea, if Vishnu is Brahmavit, then he should merge into oneness and never come. But he keeps on coming. The Dashavatarama, that he keeps on coming. Yada yada hi dharma se glani bhavati bharata abhutanam adharma se tadatmanam srijamiyaham. He keeps on coming. Then, if he merged into oneness, then how is he keeping on coming? That means he's not Brahmavit, according to Shankara's idea. So Shankara's idea is completely contradictory. If he's if he is Brahma Vit, according to Shankara's idea, then he becomes Brahma and only one. And there's no more Narayan finished. <laughs> That's what they want to finish, but they can't finish that. So it's completely uh, contradictory. You see people also they go and they'll they'll pray to to Shankara his and uh, the, to Buddha. <clears throat> then why are they praying to Buddha? According to their idea, Buddha, he got nirvana. So he is no Buddha anymore. Gone, finished. Then who are you praying to? <laughs> so their whole idea is completely, completely contradictory. Therefore we like the idea given by Sri Ramanuja Acharya in Sri Parasha Bhatta, that Brahma means not just some light or some, but he is, in Srila Prabhupada used the words, the supreme personality of Godhead. Purusham Paramam Divyam. That's who he is. You know this from Bhagavad Gita? Purusham Paramam Divyam. How do you say that in English? The supreme personality of Godhead. <coughs> so, Brahmana means Brahmavit. Krishna, he is Brahmavit. He speaks the Veda Narayana Sakshat. The Vedas, they emanate from Narayana. <coughs> so, the Vedas come from him. He speaks the truth. He speaks all the essence of Vedic knowledge in Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> So, if one actually knows, if one's an actual Brahmana, he must know the truth. But if he says that Narayana is, their idea, Narayana comes again and again and again, that means he must be a sangsari. He must be a conditioned soul, according to their idea, the, the Shankara Mata. So if he comes again and again and again, then what he speaks cannot be the... If he knows the truth, then he won't come again to this world. <coughs> he merges into that oneness. So their idea is wrong. Brahmana means he speaks the truth. 
Now there are two kinds of Brahmana. There's this kind of Brahmana and this kind of Brahmana. And here in Sri Rangam we see this kind of Brahmana, but this morning on the roof I saw in another house on the roof this kind of Brahmana. So they speak the Veda also, but they don't speak the proper truth of the Veda because they want to make Vishnu into Maya. That's, their, that's why we call them Mayavadi, because they think that Vishnu is under Maya. But it's Maya that keeps us from Vishnu. Anahang prakasha sarvasya yoga maya samavrita mudho yang navijanati loko mama janagaya. It's Maya that keeps us from Vishnu, not that Vishnu is under Maya. So, <coughs> in this way, we can understand that in the true sense of the term, although conventionally we say someone is a Brahmana, but unless they speak the teachings, of Sri Ramanuja or the other Vaishnavas, if they're not actual Brahmanas. They're not, they're, they're, it's not giving the proper message. Another meaning, a Brahmana speaks the truth. What he says must be true. What Krishna speaks in Bhagavad Gita, of course, he gives some analogies also. Dehino sminyata dehe. It's an analogy or, or some, it's an example to help us understand that the body is changing, so death is just another change. And throughout Gita, he gives several changes, uh, several analogies. This material world is compared to a butter vriksha, a, a banyan tree, then a... Uh, <coughs> Yata dipa nevatasto. Just like the lamp is kept in a windless place. Uh, <coughs> several analogies he gives to help us understand. But we accept that what Krishna says is true, not because of the analogies, and therefore I think, oh, it must be true. But because anyway he says it, it must be true. <coughs> So we accept that as truth. And what he says must come true also. Just like uh, Krishna said, Urdhvanga chanti sattvasta. Those who are in sattva gun, they must go up. He says, it must be true. So what a Brahmana says must come true. Because he's so fixed in truth, everything he says must come true. Just like we find that Previously, the Brahmanas had such power that Gautam could say to Ahalya, you become stone. She became stone. And then uh, to redeem her, okay, Ram will come and put his foot, then you'll be delivered. So when Ram came, he put his foot and she was delivered. Why was she, why was she delivered? Because of the touch of Ram's foot? Mm, yeah, maybe, but because Gautam said, Actually, it's better to be a stone for so many times, to get Ram's foot on your head. That would be very good. Nowadays, we're very lucky because we can just go to the temple and they'll put the satari and we'll get Ram's foot on our head. But Ahalya had to wait so many generations to get that. And we can just, we can go to the temple, we get very easy. <coughs> So the Brahmana, he feels that this truth is so good, in so that he must speak it, even if no one likes it. He wants that the whole world will take it. But even if no one takes it, even if one person takes it, he'll be very happy. Even if no one takes it, he'll, be, he'll go on speaking. I, just like I said, the, the Brahmanas and Kshatriyas, they, can, they live for the truth, they can die for it also. Generally, we think the Kshatriyas will die for the truth, for dharma. But here in Sri Ranga, at the time of the Muslim in, Muslims came and attacked, then so many Brahmanas, they just stood on the pathway. They didn't fight because they're Brahmanas. By their word, they could kill these people. They have such power, but they won't do. And these... So many heads were cut off. In the meantime, 
that gave time for taking the Lord, getting him and taking him away. They can die. That is the real Brahma. who can die for the truth. <coughs> So according to them, uh, according to their idea, the, the truth is one only. The, the, the Mayavadis, they, they think Vishnu is Maya. Then the Vedas must also be Maya, according to their idea. They, then the Vedas are not true. A very strange idea. Only, only they are not Maya. Such a strange idea they have. <coughs> Yeah, according to that idea, because the Brahma is one only, and then uh, ultimately they decried the Vedas also. The Shankara, he also said, Shabda Jala Maharanyam Kevala Chitta Brahmanam. The Shabda means the Vedas, and he says, oh, it's like a big forest and it confuses you. Definitely you'll be confused if you go to Shankara. But if we hear the message, it will be confused because they say everything is one. And how is, it, how is everything one? It has no practical application. We don't find anything is one. They say everything is one. We don't find anything is one. Everything is one in as much as every, everything is under Vishnu. That way everything is one. Otherwise, it's a very, very strange idea. <coughs> so Sri Prasha Bharta says that uh, he who guides or recites the Vedas is Brahmana. This is uh, there may be so many Brahmanas. Original Brahmana is Vishnu, and Sri Prasha Bharta especially gives the understanding that he who appeared as the son or in the Gotra of Atri as uh, Dathatraya. This refers to him and to other forms. Another very famous form in Brahmana is uh, Vamana Dev. <coughs> and, uh, but uh, interestingly, we see that one name of Vamana is Upendra, which means he's younger to Indra. And Indra is Kshatriya. So, from the same father, same mother, we find Indra is a Kshatriya and Upendra, Vamana, he is a Brahmana. And of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared as a Brahmana. Yeah. <laughs> the, Brahmanas, they, the Brahmanas and Kshatriyas, they're dedicated to. <coughs> to dharma, and we find especially truth speaking, we find that very prominently in Rama, who is a kshatriya. And Krishna, he also takes the form of a kshatriya, but he's not famous for speaking the truth so much. Because he says, kaunteya pratijani hiname bhakta pranashati. He says, Arjuna, you say it. You say it. And Vishnu Chagavar Thakur comments that Krishna told Arjuna to say it because people might not believe Krishna. <laughs> They'll believe Arjuna because he's a devotee of Krishna. They might not believe Krishna. Because Krishna's from Mathura, and people from Mathura, you can't trust them. Same thing going on up to the present day. What about Vamana? Was he truthful? Vamana? He was truthful. He said he'd only take three steps of land. But he was tricky also. <laughs> truthful but tricky. He didn't, he didn't break his word, but he was tricky. What about Mohini Murti? She was also tricky. All in, connected in the same Leela with Bali Maharaj. She said, first I'll give the amrita to the devas, then, but she had no intention of giving to the daityas. But anyway, she's in the form of a woman, so women don't mind. They can do. 
They don't have to be committed. They, they will look after their own family more than the, than the broader thing. So it's the family, same family, the devas. <coughs> now, uh, also brahmana, because he manifests in the brahmanas, personalities who are dedicated to Vedic study, to worship of the Lord, uh, he manifests in them. Therefore, the brahmanas are worshipable because they, re they represent Vishnu on the earth. Therefore, they are worshipable. Then, the next name, Brahmi. Brahmi. Brahmavit, Brahmana, Brahmi. Brahmi means that everything that can be considered as Brahma that is the characteristic of Vishnu. Everything that is Prakriti, Prakriti, Purusha, Ishvara, Veda, everything that goes by the name of Brahma, that is all his characteristic. <coughs> and it also means Brahmi mean Brahmi means who has Brahma, so and also means who has Brahma. So who has Brahma with one, two, three, four heads coming out of his lotus navel. He's also called Brahmi because of that. Especially Sri Parasha Bhatta gives the meaning of this that <coughs> uh, he's called Brahmi because he possesses all pramana, that means the that which is to be known, or the means of knowing. No, sorry, pramana means the means of knowledge, and prameya, that which is the object of knowledge. So everything falls within that. <coughs> and everything reveals him. Sarvam kalvidam brahma. Everything here in this world is he, and for those who have the vision, everything reveals him. You can see him everywhere. Then another... Uh, <coughs> oh, I forgot to say for Brahmana. Baladev Vidya Bhushana. Ah, uh, yeah, he gives the same meaning as Parashara Bhatta that he appears as Dattatray and others to give the spiritual message of the Vedas. And Baladeva, Vidyabhushan, for the name Brahmi, he says that he is the supreme controller of the entire cosmic <coughs> manifestation. Then Brahmagya, so we had Brahmavit, Brahmana, Brahmi, and now Brahmagya. So Brahmavit means, Vit means, who knows. Vit, Veda, a similar word. The, he who knows. And Brahmagya means who knows. So Brahmavit and Brahmagya appear to be the same thing, is it not? So last night I was speaking on Brahmavit. And I gave the example that someone may know all the Bhagavad Gita. But they don't really know it because they don't accept Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Whereas someone, he accepts Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He doesn't know all the Bhagavad Gita shlokas. He actually knows the Bhagavad Gita. So this is the distinction that Parashara Bhatta makes here. That he gives the meaning of the name Brahmavit as one who knows in the sense of he's, well, we would say memorized. For Vishnu, there's no question of memorizing. He automatically knows. But it's not just what we would say book knowledge, but it's realization. He knows the inner essence. Therefore, it's important for us to understand Bhagavad Gita because it's the essence of all the Vedas. It's everything that the Vedas have to speak is given by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. So he's giving there all the realization, every, things that might be
hidden in the Vedas. There are so many things in the Vedas. But it's everything is made very, very clear in Bhagavad Gita. Ah. So, uh, Bhagavad Gita is the essence of all knowledge. And in every syllable of the Vedas, the same message is given. Uh, in every, all that chant is all meant to lead to him. And he knows that. Mm. So it can be said that in Sri Prasha Bhatta, in speaking of Brahma Vit, it means he he who knows the breadth of the knowledge of the Vedas, all that is there to be known. And in the second name, Brahma Gya, he knows the depth of the knowledge, the breadth and the depth. The ocean is very wide and it's very deep. We may see the ocean and not know that it's very deep. Just like the other day we went for Kaveri Snan, for bathing in the river Kaveri, but it's not really a river anymore, no longer flowing because it's dammed up. So very wide, and we might think that if we go a little bit, it'll be very deep, but actually not because of the damming and we couldn't even properly take bath. It was hardly up to our knees. <coughs> But generally, the ocean, very deep. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Brahmagya, he knows the Vedas in a manner that is not possible for anyone else than himself. He knows the inner essence. But he can make, in other words, by our own efforts, we cannot understand what is spiritual knowledge, spiritual nature. But he can, he can make it clear to us, as he states in Bhagavad Gita, Teisham Satasa Yuktanam Pajatam Priti Purvakam Dadami Buddhi Yogam Tam Yena Mamu Payanti Te. He gives that knowledge by which we can come to those he loves and who love him, he gives the knowledge by which they can come to him. So that's the knowledge, that's the essence of the Vedas, how we can come to him. <clears throat> so he, even though as tiny living beings, we inherently cannot understand the vast knowledge, the deep knowledge of he who is the greatest in all respects, but by his mercy, we can understand. <clears throat> so in all ways, he knows the, the, the breadth and the depth. The two names are complementary to each other. Baladev Vidya Bhushan, you may remember that the name Brahmavit, he gave the meaning of that as that Krishna and Balaram got Brahma, means Brahma Gayatri, from Gargacharya, from Garga in the house of Nanda Maharaj, actually in the cowherd pen, in the cow pen. So in this way he took from the guru, Brahma, he be, and this way became Brahmavit. He learned how to chant Gayatri, Brahma Gayatri Mantra. And now for this name, Brahma Gya, Baladev Vidya Bhushan means, he gives the meaning that studying under Sandipani Muni, he became Brahma Gya. So in this way, he, he got from one guru, he got the Brahma Gayatri, and from another guru, he got knowledge of the Vedas. Although Krishna himself, of course, is the source of all the Vedas. And the example is given that Krishna studied the Vedic knowledge from Sandipani Muni. It was just something like Sandipani Muni is teaching the Vedas to Krishna it's something like the great ocean is full of water and then the clouds form by taking some of that water and they rain it down. So the rain also goes in the ocean. So Krishna is like the ocean of knowledge and Sandipani Muni is like a cloud who's taken a little of that knowledge 
and he showers it down and Krishna again gets that knowledge. Hare Krishna. Mm. Of course, Sandipani Muni, the, the knowledge he gave, he gave complete knowledge. <coughs> For the Vedas are unlimited, but we can have complete knowledge from the Vedas because we are tiny and the, the, the knowledge we get is complete for us. As, as much as we can take and as much as we can know. But we cannot know him fully. It's not possible. So the next name, I'm going on quickly today. 675 is Brahmana Priyaha which is very easy to understand. Uh, but it works, Brahmana means Brahmana. We, it, the general meaning is there. Brahmana. And Priya means dear. So, he is dear to the Brahmanas and they are dear to him. It works both ways. Brahmana, Priya. So he likes the Brahmanas. He likes everyone. Samoham Sarva Bhute Yishu. Uh, well, he, he well, that, that verse actually says that he doesn't like anyone or dislike anyone. But then there are so many that, uh, <coughs> verses. Hambija uh, Pradapita. He's the father of all living beings. So he likes everyone, but he especially likes the Brahmanas who chant his glories <coughs> and who benefit the world by doing so. And they like him. A real Brahmana must like him. A real Brahmana doesn't say that Vishnu is Maya <clears throat> and pretends to worship him. Those who pretend to worship him, but they say that ultimately it's all one and Vishnu is Maya, their, their worship is like the worship of Putana. She came, oh, just like a very nice mother but her intention was to kill Krishna, which is not possible, but she had some idea like that. So those who say that, yes, yes, we worship Vishnu, we chant Vishnu Sahasranam, but they say that ultimately Vishnu is all Maya, there's just some undifferentiated oneness, they're actually enemies of Vishnu. So Brahmana Priya doesn't, of course, Krishna likes that the Vedic culture is propagated, but the, the real point of the Vedic culture is that uh, we should worship Vishnu. He likes the Brahmanas. And the example is given here of Bhrigu. In Telugu, you'll say Bhrugu. Is it? Pronounce it a little differently. So he likes Bhrigu so much that even when Brigu came and kicked him on the chest, he said, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't get up quick. I didn't see you coming. I didn't get up to offer you obeisance. I, 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 uh, but it's, it, it's very kind that you, kind, you blessed me with the foot on your chest, foot on my chest. So Vishnu likes the Brahmanas, but Lakshmi, she doesn't like because she, he, he kicked my husband. So she doesn't, so the little difference there between Vishnu and Lakshmi. He likes the Brahmanas, she, that's why they're poor. <laughs> Brahmanas are generally poor because Lakshmi doesn't like them. <laughs> that's the same. But Vishnu likes them. Yeah, husband and wife, there'll be some... Can't expect them to agree on everything. <laughs> we find in the Srimad Bhagavatam, there's the state, statement when the, uh, the four Kumaras, they came to Vaikuntha, and Jaya and Vijaya were very rude to them and told, you can't come here. And the, the four Brahmanas, they cursed Jayan Vijayan. Then Vishnu came and said, oh, he apologized. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
the, these two these two doormen, they didn't know my heart properly. They're mistreated. You have come as guests and you are mistreated. So at this time, he said, uh, Lord Vishnu said that if a Brahmana beats a person, curses him or utters harsh words to him, you should still bow down to him, just like you bow down to Bhrigu. One who does not respect a Brahmana in this way will be consumed by the fire of the Brahmana's anger, and he deserves to be killed and punished. <coughs> Strong words. Now we also find in the Puranas that certain... It's not that everyone who is born as a Brahmana we should accept as a Brahmana. There's a quote which is from Varaha Purana, I believe it is, that uh, is, comes in Chaitanya Bhagavat. Rakshasim Kalimashritya Jayate Brahmana Yonishu. Jayate Brahma Yonishu. That the, when Krishna came in the Dwarapa Yuga, he himself and Vaya, Bhima, and Arjuna, he killed so many Rakshasas. The ones, and then they got mukti. But those who were not killed, they came again in Kali Yuga as brahmanas. And verbally, they want to kill Vishnu. By saying, oh, everything is one. Vishnu is also part of Maya. So Shastra warns us against uh, treating such persons as brahmanas. <coughs> the extreme respect that Vishnu has for the brahmanas is not, beca not particularly because they're born in a family as such, but because they act in such a way that is beneficial for the world, that is because they worship Vishnu and teach others to do so. It may be by the family also. We see at the end of the uh, Stotaratnam of Yamuna Acharya that he says that, well, I'm completely useless, but I appeared in the family of Naamalva, so I think Bhagavan will be kind to me. <laughs> so we want to see such families. Well, I wonder if in our ISKCON will we have 30 generations later? <laughs> well, we have. You've got your son. Huh? You have one Suputra who is chanting Hare Krishna. He didn't have any Putra. He had two Putris. Is it? Two daughters. Didn't have any sons yet. Should have some sons also. We want to see. Thirty generations later. If they, and then uh, th th that other evening that... Uh, who was that? That Lakshmi Kumar Tatacharya? There was, what was that? 46 generations from Namarava? There's something like that. We have to see. So many of our ISKCON children, I won't like to say here. They're not keeping up the tradition. <coughs> Why? Uh, why are such brahmanas given such respect? Not just because they're born in a family, but because ye tu dharm yam ritam idam yatoktam pariyupasate shodadhanamat parama bhakta stateva me priyaha. Krishna says, who are his devotees who are, pri who are dear to him? They actually follow dharma in all respects. Advaishta sarva bhutanam maitra karana evacha. They're actually uh, like that. He also claims, we'll find in the Vishnu Dharma, that <clears throat> I become victorious over the Asuras because of the blessings of the Brahmanas. We find that Rama, he was fighting so many days, he was exhausted, and then Ravana came. And Ravana was sitting in his palace. He wasn't tired. And Rama, so many days tired. Of course, Rama, he's never tired, but he's doing the pastimes like that. <coughs> so Rama's feeling, oh, how can I fight with Ravana? He's, Ravana's just fresh, and I'm tired. 
And then who came? Augusta came. And Augusta, this isn't so well known actually, but then Augusta told Rama, you have to worship Aditya and chant Aditya Hridayam. And taking blessings from the Aditya, the son, then Rama got strength and then he defeated Ravana. So there you go. Rama, he's, the Shaivas will also always say Ram worshipped Shiva, but he also worshipped Surya. So Agastya came as a Brahmana to give counsel to Rama, a Kshatriya, how he could kill Ravana, who is superficially a Brahmana. There's another Brahmana who, see? And then Rama, as a Kshatriya, killed a so-called Brahmana. Now these are all some confidential matters to understand all of these. <coughs> so Brahmana means one who only thinks of Krishna. That's the best Brahmana. <coughs> He's always in the heart of Vishnu. Sadhu nam hridayam twaham, sadhu nam hridayam ahyam. Krishna says that the real sadhu, he is my heart, I am his heart, because he thinks of me only, only, and nothing else. And I only think of him. Baladev Vidya Bhushan, he gives the example that Brahmana Priyaha, he, was, he, was, he liked the Brahmana very much, Sandipani, and he, the Brahmana Sandipani became very dear to him when he gave the, to Sandipani the Guru Dakshina, you bring back my dead son. The Sandipani, he knew Krishna and Balaram, they're not ordinary boys, so I shouldn't, what do you want from me? What will you ask? So his wife wanted that our son died so long ago, so ask Krishna and Balaram to bring them back. So in this way, he pleased the Brahmana Sandi Panimai. And that is the end of that shloka. And the next one will begin with the name Mahakrama. Big steps. But I'll leave that for now. And again, I have to say, Rambanandri Mahadhanyavadam Chalanandri, well, Chaladhanyavadam. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. We're very much uh, honored to be able to speak here on this. I'm speaking in English. I think it's maybe the first time that Vishnu Sahasranama has been spoken on extensively in English. Now that's. 675 names, so another 325 names I have to speak on. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It's not all over yet. They're kindly going to honor Srila Prabhupada's servant with a traditional method of honoring. <coughs> 